If you're an academic looking for literature and you've been totally smashed with this new world of generative AI and wondering which way is up in relation to your research and the stuff that matters to you in science, then you might be wondering which generative AI large language model should I be actually be reaching for in terms of finding out the best way forward for identifying existing literature, let alone praising it. I'm going to assess SciSpace, Perplexity, AI, and Lit Maps. And I'm also probably going to end up mentioning Research Rabbit and Connected Papers. And I'm going to figure out which one of these I think is the most reliable generative AI system for assisting you to identify relevant literature to your research topic. When you are researching and according to researcher, then I would reach for perplexity AI and connected or connected papers. If you are searching for a subject and you just want to generate information for a starting place, then again, I would also re re reach for perplexity AI and connected papers and perhaps also SciSpace. I know what I've published and what I haven't. So that will give me a great compass for understanding which of these programs is going to do a better job. Okay, I've put Tanisha Jowsey into the search function, insights from top five papers. Now unfortunately, none of this is right. I did not publish that paper. So it's a little bit frustrating. Let's have a look at Perplexity AI, which is much more helpful. Okay, it's identified that I have a few different profiles according to where I have and currently work. Ooh, I like that it's got citations. Look at that. Oh, and look, it's found six papers. Now that's not great because I know I've written a lot more than six papers. This one I can confirm, yes, I wrote that. Culture communication, within clinical environment, oh yes, I wrote that as well. Also very disappointing. Okay, alright, but it's found some of my articles that I've published for the media. Okay, so perplexity is not helping me to find what I'm trying to find either. Let's try again, third time lucky. Oh wow, okay, so look at this folks, it's bringing up a bunch of papers that I have published, yeah. Big blue circles, reminds me of connected papers. Ah, and I'm definitely seeing something that reminds me of connected papers here, and that it's connecting um, the research that I was involved with, with other research that's gone on in the same sorts of space. This is useful, right? But especially if I want to find out what's been published before or since my piece. That's right, it's open access, so where's the PDF? Will it take me straight to it? Nice. And it takes me to the DOI. Mm, okay, download, export. Ah, oh, boo. Okay, now I've got to do all this signing up stuff just to be able to see the paper, which is freely available. So, a bit annoying. Is connected papers going to be any better? Let's find out. Okay, it's bringing up the same papers. You can see it's brought up a few more than the others. In fact, look at this. That's better. It's actually providing me with lots of papers. So that's really helpful. Great. And I know that, yes, these are definitely papers that I've contributed to writing. And here I've clicked on one of them and I can see how my paper relates which the primary author is Sheehan, 
how it relates to other literature in the field. This is really helpful for finding out again what's been going on in the general field that I may want to catch up on. Really useful. Also if I was doing a literature review this would be a helpful way to find out what other literature is out there that is related, so using this snowballing technique. Thank you Connected Papers. Let's have a quick look at Research Rabbit. Okay, and like Connected Papers, it's managed to find heaps of my articles, so that's really helpful and I can confirm that these are things that I have written. I like that you get the abstract there automatically and that you get to be able to read that and I like that there's this big happy button of add to collections. Now in a previous film I've reviewed Research Rabbit and I found a few bits made me feel really lost and I didn't quite know what was going on and this is another one of those moments where I want to explore what this author has been up to and I can't see anything. The more I double click on it the larger the font gets but it's not actually getting me to her publications. What about if we ask it to look for a subject that I want to know the answer to. It turns out I do know the answer to this, but I'm going to find out what perplexity can tell us. So is video a better learning tool than lecture or text? Now the answer is yes. But in any case, perplexity has given me some, a list of pros and cons, and I like that it has referenced literature. See, it's the same piece of literature for the first three points and a different one for this one, and God knows where that one came from. I also chucked the same question into SciSpace. I find this a really useful summary. So, in relation to this research question, SciSpace is performing much better. We can see there's a good range of literature, and here we can see the articles, and the articles are relevant. So that's helpful. I went into ChatGPT version 3 and asked the same question, and it gave a bunch of information, and then I realized, oh whoops, I needed to specify, so I prompted it to provide uh, references, but we would be relying on my knowledge more broadly to understand whether or not this literature is made up and um, therefore I'm not going to go for that as my first option. <laughs> I've gone into connected papers to find out how that performs and it did not like my question at all. It doesn't look like anything's coming up on lit maps. So where does that leave us? I'm suggesting here that SciSpace, Perplexity AI and Connected Papers do well in relation to general searches on topics where you don't know the answer. And where you do know the answer, uh, specifically in the context of researching for a specific researcher, then perplexity and AI and connected papers do better. Right, well, have fun folks. Um, the other thing I would mention is that LitMap and ChatGPT3 and Research Rabbit are not where I would put my time at this point. Cheers. <laughs>